One of the easiest ways to decorate your terracotta pots is by spray painting them. With rubber bands and masking tape, you can even mix and match different colors and different patterns. Before we get started on giving your garden or windowsill a pop of color, be sure to check the description below for all the supplies we'll be using. Now let's get cracking on these spray painted terracotta pots. When it comes to painting terracotta, you have to remember that it's a porous type of clay, so it'll absorb liquids. This is why we need to seal both the inside and outside of our pots with a clear spray sealer. If you don't, you'll either end up with a very faded color, or over time the paint will crack from the water. With a thick glaze sealer, spray a thin layer both on the inside and outside of your terracotta pot. I'd recommend giving it two coats, just in case you missed any spots the first time around. After the sealer is completely dry, it's time to decorate your pot. To cut out one step, we're going to be using a paint and primer in one. When you pick your color, spray a thin layer both on the inside and outside of your terracotta pot. Again, I'd recommend giving it two coats. Then, let it dry completely before the next step. Now for those of you who want to mix and match colors, you can use rubber bands, painter's tape, and cut up plastic bags to block off areas you don't want to get painted. For example, for this terracotta pot, I want to leave the rim and inside its natural color. Taking a rubber band, block off the bottom of the rim. This should help make your paint lines cleaner. Then, put some painter's tape on the top half of the rubber band, and make sure that the rubber band stays flush with the pot. You don't want paint slipping through. To keep paint from getting on the inside of the pot from the bottom, put tape over the hole. For the rest of the rim and the inside of the pot, cut up plastic bags and tape them over those areas. Once everything that isn't getting painted is covered, it's time to finally color them. Take your paint and primer spray paint and spray on a thin layer. Like everything else you spray on, I recommend adding another coat after that. Once it's completely dry, gently peel off the tape and slide the rubber band down off the pot. Now let's say you want to have a color for your rim. For that, you'd have to spray paint the whole terracotta pot that color. Then, use a rubber band, painter's tape, and cut up plastic bags to block off the rim and inside of the pot. That way, you can paint the body a different color. Finally, after all the paint is dry, we have to seal the paint. And to do this, we're going to use that same thick glaze sealer from before. Spray on a thin layer, and if you want, a second coat. Let the terracotta pot dry completely before using it. Aside from these simple designs, you could position your rubber band and painter's tape in different places on your terracotta pot. Let us know what kind of design you ended up doing, and if this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more arts and crafts how-tos, or to learn something entirely new and different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next project might be right here. Well, I gotta get back to prepping more terracotta pots to paint, so I'll catch you guys later. Okay, two coats, looking good. It's ready for color, but what color?